It's been more than a month since jury trials resumed at Tulane and Broad, and the DA's office is trying to put a dent in its backlog of more than 2,700 felony cases. Yeah, the office has seen some successes in their prosecution so far, but for the families of victims in the city, that backlog of cases could take some time. We're the family of the victims, and we're seeking justice. These mothers appeared at the court hearing for Tyrone Steele, the man accused of murdering their loved ones on Encampment Street last month. One of the most violent offenders in New Orleans, and that is one Tyrone Steele. District Attorney Jason Williams' office is charged with carrying out the prosecution, but it could take some time to get there. We don't have enough sections of court. We don't have enough lawyers to, to really efficiently deal with the number of cases that are coming through. So the backlog is tough. That backlog of pandemic cases coupled with the surge in violent crime has not deterred Williams' office from trying cases and they're seeing some successes. For the first three weeks, uh, we, had, we didn't lose a single trial, uh, which, which was a good feeling. And, and it's not about, uh, it's not necessarily about the result, but it's about making sure that the process is fair the families of the murder victims in the Steele case had a short impromptu meeting with the DA on the steps of the courthouse today. They say that while they understand the backlog of cases from COVID and the crime surge, they would like to see justice come sooner than later. This month has been hell and they already know his history. They know all about him. He's not new to the system. So with that being said, they need to just move this more swiftly. So D.A. Williams also stated that he's meeting with several city council members this week in hopes of securing stimulus funding to pay for additional attorneys to tackle that huge backlog.